The topic was shells for the armchair painting group. The first thing I did was went and looked out my shell collection. These were all shells I picked up from visits to the seaside in the past. So I sorted through it and I noticed they were all different shapes and sizes and all different types as well. There was limpets and scallops and whelk and mussel and cockle and winkle and, and even a razor shell and they're quite difficult not to get broken. They all have something in common. They all seem to grow regularly. So that's one thing that every one of them's got this sort of curve on them. Even the razor shells, they're all sort of hard and yet brittle and easily broken and yet strong. So they're strong and yet... And so how to draw that? And they were all different colours, masses of different colours. So the first thing I did was I started by painting the background. Uh, I sketched out the shapes, tried to capture the curved lines on the shapes uh, in the shell where each of the shells had grown. So that was the first thing I did. And then the next thing I did, I filled the shells out with the colours that I noticed. You know, there was, there was a purple, there was black, there was blue, really rich blue, and a sort of golden yellow and... And then when I finished it, I signed the sand with my name, Sand. I couldn't resist the irony. I looked at this and I thought, this is not right. It could just be a school art piece. So what was it that made it mine? Well, there is lots of things about the shells which make me think about, you know, life and the universe. And so I thought, well, the first thing was that all shells curve. And the second thing was, the amazing thing, was that all shells, every single shell was different. The third thing was that all shells, although they're different, they do the same job, which is they protect the vulnerable and soft animal inside. And I wrote that down on the picture, and now it's my picture, and it says my message. So I hope you enjoy it. Here's the finished picture.